Well, good morning and welcome back to Marwell Manor. I uh, just uh, decided to pick up a job, so while you guys have been sleeping, I've been uh, back at work already for roughly an hour or so. So, uh, this job came up here is harvesting, uh, I think we looked at it even yesterday, we har uh, harvesting field number one. Uh, it was a good paying, just under, I think, 10,000 uh, pounds uh, plus. We'll probably get a little excess off of this field also. So, I thought, well, early morning start. Uh, it was still a little dark when I got going on this, so I thought I wouldn't start recording until uh, it lightened up a little bit. Um, also, it's kind of nice uh, to get up in the morning and start a different job than mowing grass. So here we are, uh, harvesting field number one, uh, wheat. And um, again, we borrowed equipment to do this job, so we'll lose a little bit of the, of the proceeds to that, but that is perfectly fine because it should be paid out pretty well. Um, I think today, though, after we're done this, we may have to, we'll do another um, look at our cattle and uh, I believe we'll be looking at getting some more straw uh, in there today. And uh, also we'll probably look at uh, getting the grass mowed real quick up, um, fill them up with water. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at the price of, uh, we looked at the price of milk. Let's go there real quick. The price of milk right now on, after its upward swing is just under the $1,300 mark per liter. Uh, we are currently sitting at uh, 10,000, almost 11,000 uh, uh, liters of that milk. Uh, so I think uh, I'm leaning towards taking a, a tanker down and selling it at that price, um, which, you know, whatever, it'll be probably around another $10,000 right there. So between this job, that job, um, we are going to be sitting pretty well. So, but we do need to buy some straw. Um, and we'll spend some time, uh, with the, uh, mowing the grass and, and bailing that and so on. We'll see what more we need, uh, to keep them satisfied for a few more days. Um, if we have extra or excess, uh, grass, we'll make some silage bales with those. Because, uh, again, once we buy that BGA, we're going to want to sell that stuff, hopefully at a good price, uh, as another source of income. So we're slowly working up our multiple streams of income on the farm. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting at the moment, this early morning. Uh, so I'm going to get this going. I, I want to get this job done. Uh, maybe to get her done up quick here this morning. Uh, we'll do a couple jump cuts on the video to uh, to keep kind of uh, things moving along. So uh, come back and hopefully uh, I'll try and not repeat myself completely all over again, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll continue on. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, just pulling in here to the first uh, uh, unplaced unload for this job. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Let's see. Why is this not wanting to unload? There we go. Guess there's a trailer on the back. I got a tip to the side. All right, so. Oh, and I lost it. There we go. So I got that figured out. So the only downside to doing uh, this particular job and um, this harvest on field number one is that the, uh, looking at the map here, field number one is way over here and uh, way off on the, on the right hand side center of the map. And we are unloading way on the far left side. So all the way across the map, we have to travel uh, in order to unload both, I get uh, two and a half uh, loads of the harvester fit into these two micro trailers that they gave me for this job for whatever reason. So, but that's fine. We will, uh, we'll make it work. Um, and we will go around and, and get this job completed. So, but I know I just thought I'd throw that out there that this is not a, going to be a quick job just with the carting of it. So, and of course, when you only get two and a half uh, harvesters, 
means the, the third load fills up super fast since it's still waiting for you. So this could become a uh, two harvester. Whoops, got to get on the right side of the road there, you Canadian. Got to get um, basically two two loads of the, uh, of the harvester, or unloads of the harvester, probably cart. And then that way the harvester will stay more productive and uh, uh, not be sitting waiting because at the at, at this rate, with him sitting there waiting for me with a full load while I'm driving, is actually less efficient than me make, uh, I'm making just as many trips practically, or killing just as much time, I guess. So uh, we'll go with that route. So I'm going to get back here um, so you don't have to watch me, my horrible driving. See you in a bit. Alright, well we got that uh, contract all finished up for this field number one, uh, got word that it's done so whatever we collect now and unload will be pure profit for us. So we're going to do our best here, we'll get uh, this field tidied up and uh, uh, fairly well, I mean, I'm not going to get this stuff right on the edges there, it's not, just not going to add up too much with wheat but we will get this all done. Um, you know, it does make me wonder if a person was to do a contract like this, if uh, you collected all the hay, or all the straw, sorry, after uh, doing this job, if you'd get all the profit for that too. You'd be leaving a lot on the table by not, uh, by not doing that. So anyway, that's uh, maybe for next time we'll look at trying something like that. But for now, I'm just going to get this finished up, unload, go unload the, tra the trailers and complete the contract so we can get paid. Um, and then we're going to go take care of our animals. So we definitely need to, uh, uh, like I was saying before, look after uh, the cows with the straw and, and everything else that they require. So, um, But I'm pretty excited between uh, this job, uh, this contract here completing up, and us uh, doing the uh, selling some milk possibly, if uh, I think it was at a decent price here. We will... We'll be doing pretty good. I think. So I'm going to rip all this back. I don't even really need this trailer. I might just leave that here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll, I'll see you when I get to the unload spot and we'll talk some more about uh, all the money we just made. All right, so just selling uh, or pulling up into the sell point here uh, of our um, to sell this wheat. Uh, it's contract, like I said, is, is complete. So Let's just pull this out, we'll dump this load and watch our money go up as it unloads. We did already get about $1,000 from it, uh, from the last uh, load when the contract's com contract was completed. So this is $13,000. You can't complain about that. Well, I'm going to go in here and uh, get to this contract. There we go. Another almost 8000 right there. Can't complain about that. That's uh, that's a pretty good D8. Pretty good morning. 
And we still, uh, yeah, I guess we pretty much completed our morning. So, but I'm gonna head back to the farm, and uh, we'll get to work after lunch here, and uh, work on our looking after our cattle. All right, well we're back here after lunch. Uh, I'm gonna load up the tanker. We'll just check check the uh, stats on our milk. We got twelve thousand liters of milk. Um, and we, well, we're gonna look at. Everything else we need to top up, we'll work at that. I mean, we could go another day probably, but we'll work on that this afternoon. Um, so let's see if I can get this. Let's load this up and we'll see where. We know where we're going to sell it, but let's find out what we're going to sell it for. So that 12, we're just around that, we're just under that 13. So we know we sold it last time for around, I think it was a hair over 1300. So that may be our max price we're going to get for milk. Um, per thousand liters so what well, that is it is what it, uh, that is and eventually um it'll look better once we get more uh, our larger uh milk tank and uh also if we get more cattle so um so we're gonna head that up there right now but let's just sell a load of that while we're thinking about it uh another amazing little surprise here what worked out was um got back from doing that contract work and uh, the wife was working away getting this all done, mowing the grass with the tractor. So that was huge, uh, something I didn't have to worry about doing myself. I, of course, tried to make the joke of uh, it still need to be windrowed, and uh, apparently that's being left for me to do. So we will uh, look after that here also if we have time today. So, But let's go back down to the sell point for the milk, to the dairy. All right, so here at the dairy, let's unload our milk. So I think between the selling the milk here and also our contract, of course, we're going to have pretty good cash. We're just now making a decision on um, which way to invest that the best, whether we're going to look at uh, a field that we can purchase, um, put it right into the BGA uh, deal that we have, we're waiting on uh, being able to, to do. Um, or what exactly, but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll maybe price out some fields, kind of see where we sit with those, and uh, if, if they just aren't in our price range today, we might just have to put that off, and uh, um, we'll look at uh, the BGA option and what we can do there. So, But I think uh, with 56,000 pounds, we should be pr uh, really close to being able to afford one of the smaller fields, um, probably another grass field. At this point which will be great because once we have that bga we'll be looking for as much silage as possible so um we'll keep that source of income running so uh between that and the milk uh also i mean hey if we can eventually here be able to afford a few more uh cows uh we'll get uh we'll do that also that'll that'll also speed up and and help our production of milk um slurry and the manure so lots of things to be able to sell then so I'm just going to wanted to double check here again how much milk we actually had, if it was worthwhile trying to make two trips down there. Uh, 4,800, I think we'll leave it at this point. Um, but I mean, we could look. Let's see, we're over here. Let's take a peek at what, we're, what we have for sale. So we got the grass field here, which we can't afford without taking it alone. I'm trying to look for something close. Right now, nothing is in our price range. Um, so aerial fields here, obviously are out, out, way out, way over price range. We could go a little further away, but that's not going to make it, make it work for us either. So what we need to do is, uh, keep making money and then we'll expand on fields. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I mean, we could sell in a little bit more milk and we could probably afford, you know, well, I know we don't have enough milk to afford that one yet, but... I mean, we could take it alone too, uh, but I think I'd really like to try and stay closer to the farm. So I'd really like to get into something like number nine, uh, any of these. That also eventually we'll get into some arable fields, um, hopefully. But uh, I mean, our main focus is going to be our cattle. And uh, once we get into that that biogas plant, uh, you know, those are those are our main sources. So. 
we'll be looking at other options, uh, other streams of income as, as they come, but uh, for now. So what I'll do, uh, just getting back to looking after a cattle, let's go get another uh, round of water since we already have the tanker on here. See, these two fields here would just be great to own since they're just so close. So close, close to where we are, but they're also great ones for, I guess, uh, if there's a good contract on them. Because they're nice and close and close to the shop, since we're still having to borrow our, uh, any kind of harvesting equipment or, or whatnot. So, let's see if that's good. Okay, I'm going to get this filled up, head over, and water the cattle. Alright, so we'll see how much water they take. I would assume they might take this whole uh, container of water. We'll just check her uh, sheet here. Um, it's all good if they do. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, they weren't hurting for water, but this keeps us topped off. So, nothing wrong with that. So, to do that up, uh, we'll do a cleanliness thing here soon. But we do need to purchase some straw since we don't have any arable fields to um, get make this ourselves so we'll purchase some straw uh, we do have a pile of grass on the ground uh, but we are going to need some hay or silage we do have silage bales we could use um, but we'll definitely be needing that if not today tomorrow so and we also did produce another airshire so we have one more ca uh, head of cattle in the in the on the pasture i guess or so can't go wrong there. Next animal now in 39 or more hours. So that's, you know, a few days away. But that's the other option I guess I should be thinking about is spending our money on is um, could really update, throw more, a few more head of cattle in here, another round, uh, which would speed all those other stats up. Um, and then we would, uh, you know, we'd be making that much more milk. If we could... Um, Increase this so we'd have two loads of milk or we even need to buy a bigger tanker. I mean, that's kind of what our initial goal with this place is, right? So, make most of our income off our cattle. So, it'd be nice um, to make or to have some beef cattle. I know I've said that before, uh, but we will see how that plays out. So, well, we have all this grass, we are going to need something. Uh, I think we'll do, I know we're lowest on the straw, so I think we'll do the straw first. Alright, so I opted to buy uh, six bales right now, six straw bales. I forgot to put my weight on the back of the tractor, so hopefully we'll be fine with just the two. Try not to lose them as we go here. But I'm going to take these down, I'm going to unload them all, and then we'll start... Uh, spraying that in and, and spreading that around for for these guys so keep their bedding up that'll help with everything else I know I've done this before I'm gonna try this again we'll put two in here maybe if it likes it there it doesn't really like it So finally got all this stuff over here, um, got the weight on, we're going to fire in some straw. So get that spread around, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do quite a bit here, I'm going to try and get all these bales in because um, we're just that low, like we're in the red right now, so I figure uh, we'll try and get as topped up as possible. I mean if I hit the green before I get them all done, then I mean obviously that's fine too. So uh, a thought I did have here while I was hauling these down was um, the idea behind purchasing more cattle might not be the best idea. 
because um, they apparently they like straw about uh, showers. But um, just because we're already we're at a point where we're just keeping up with feeding them. Um, so if we have a whole pile more, uh, we're going to be even more rushed to, to feed them, especially with our one field that we have. So I think the best option will be to is going to be uh, get another field uh, and before we go too far. So there we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work at getting all these done. I still like I know I've put two uh, of square wheels in this machine before and they've worked, so I might try that again. Uh, so I will work on this, and uh, I'll be back once we're we're done. There we go. So yeah, I managed to get two in there. Uh, it's uh, definitely heavy uh, for this tractor to, to lift it up too high. Um, had to tilt her back a little bit to keep it from falling forward. Uh, with the weight, just the, it's a lot of weight for the for this little tractor, uh, even with that little weight we have on the back. Well, that's all right. This will be a little bit more efficient for myself. I don't know if I can lower that if that'll make a difference or not. Kind of doubt it, but yeah, whatever. So, well, like I said, I'm going to keep going on this and uh, <laughs> get her done. All right, we're done with the straw. Um, just looking in here, we're at 24,000. We're well into the green. For quite a while here so i'm not sure i need to toss those other another one in or not i think i'll just hold those off and uh we'll always have something back here with the in the pasture to work on so we'll toss we can toss those two in you know tomorrow or the next day whatever um thing that's bugging me the most i think right now is the cleanliness is 60 percent. so we're gonna i'm gonna run over grab the bucket i'm gonna get that uh that's that little problem sorted out over here and then uh that'll also help our pro productivity so don't like letting it get uh, that low, um, just the way it affects pro productivity. So we have milk we need produced, and uh, if we can produce more cattle, even better. So we'll try and keep our uh, production up as high as possible. So as long as they got food, we got to keep them clean. So let's see if I can do this properly. I did figure out that it whoop, wasn't quite... Catching it all last time, so. Let's see if I can get it all in there. Perfect. Okay, so that job is done. They're uh, cleaned up. They're watered. They have straw. Um, we will do a quick work here now on everything else so I am going to swap the weight around uh, gonna get rid of the bucket and stuff here let's go put it back over here and I guess we're on to windrowing which is perfectly fine it won't take us long probably to do that either we have a lot of practice on this field windrowing so, I'm going to grab the bucket first, or the uh, weight. All right, so I like to uh, kind of do my grass and my hay and everything uh, individually, just kind of keeps things for me uh, organized and less messy. 
Um, <laughs> try not to pay too much attention to my windrowing skills. But we, uh, so I got, I, I windrowed up some, the, what I want to use for grass. So basically I'm going to go around, I'm going to bail this up now and then uh, get it off the field or, or I mean, I don't even care if it's on the field, I guess, but then I'll go around uh, with the teeter and, and mix up the grass and we'll, we'll do up the hay that way and then we'll go do that. So um, I think another thing we're going to have to do here before the day is over or maybe first thing tomorrow morning is uh, a little maintenance on the old tractor. Uh, we're getting a little low. We're going to do uh, get oil changed and do some repairs and whatever needs to get done on it. Uh, and then also it looks like we're going to need some fuel. So uh, that's, uh, that's going to be a bit of an expense for sure uh, for all those things. But um, yeah, whatever, gotta get done. So not too much of a, not too many choices on that one. So, but I'm gonna take this uh, and I get these bales done up. Uh, won't bore you with the whole uh, trying to talk to you while I'm while I'm getting this done. So I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get these uh, grass, all the grass bales done, and then uh, we'll get them delivered. Alright, so I'm just here, uh, got the hay all done up, and uh, just going to bale, get it all baled. Uh, I did leave the grass um, bales alone on the field, which is uh, always the best option, because they kind of get in the way when you're trying to run the wind rower, but uh, that's alright. I'm going to pick them all up at the same time, I'm pretty much going to give everything we have to the cattle, so um, I'm not too worried about what ones I'm grabbing, or any order, or anything like that, so... Just going to take everything we have on the field, and they're going to go great to uh, to the feed. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on here. Get this, uh, get these bailed. Uh, I think what I might try and do too is load everything up on the trailer this time, and then haul it over, and then just unload and pile them all in into the feed. So that's kind of uh, my thought process on it, and clean up as we go. But apparently, I'm I. I'm struggling with my talking and uh, multitasking, so I'm going to get this job done and uh, we'll see you once I start picking the bell.
All right, so managed to get all the bells over uh, to the feed area in our pasture, and uh, just gonna get them all loaded in. Not sure if this was a more efficient way to do it or not, but meh, less driving around, I guess. So got everything loaded up in the trailer, dumped the trailer here, and uh, now we'll just manually toss them all in. So that's all right. Must have saved a little time here or there, so. These guys will be happy. We'll watch. We were pretty low. Let's check the stats here where we are at right now. We're almost at 60,000 liters. These, these uh, air shires, they take a lot of hay and grass. Um, again, again, another option too we have is the total mix rations. But, you know, that just requires even more. Uh, it requires straw, silage, or hay, grass. It, you know, it still requires everything to make that happen. So, if we're giving them a good mixture of uh, grass and hay, we're uh, we're doing our job. So, or I'm doing my job. So, I'm gonna carry on here, and uh, I guess one at a time get these bales uh, into the feed. Oh, cow. Oh, oh. What do you do with me? Walk right through. All right, so I'll carry on here. Uh, get this done. So that was the last of the hay and the grass. Let's check out our stats here and uh, see where we left off. So we are in the green for the grass. We did well. We had lots of those. Um, and the hay silage, we are 75. So not bad. Not in the green, but not in the red. So that's always a win. So right now we're sitting pretty good. Productivity-wise is 79%. Um, so I think, you know, with everything there, I mean, cleanliness is done a little bit, but not that bad. I'm hoping this would be a little bit better than it is. Um, but we will, we'll, we'll carry on. Um, I do have, I could toss in a silage one or not, uh, just to kind of help bring, uh, that up maybe into the green. I believe the other ones we have over here are grass. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to grab, I'll grab two of these and uh, oh, or one of these. Can I do two? Let's find out. Perfect. So yeah, we'll run, the, we'll run two of the silage ones down, bales and uh, Toss those in there. I probably should have thrown the weight on before, because I do like to have try and carry two of these. Turn this around. There's another eight thousand liters of silage. Perfect. Now let's see where we're at. Still in the yellow. All right. Well, that's okay. They are well good, well fed for the next few days. Well, probably the next couple for sure anyway. So I'm going to leave it at that uh, with them. They can uh, carry on producing milk. And we can carry on uh, sorting out other uh, issues around the farm. So like I said, I've got to get this tractor, uh, some repairs done, some maintenance done on it. So... I'm going to get it cleaned up right now. Because it's been 
working hard the last couple of days, and I don't know if we washed it yesterday or not, so. Wash it up, and uh, what time is it here? Six o'clock, just before supper, so. I think we'll be calling it, calling it a day here pretty quick. There we go, looks a lot cleaner. Well, let's go, uh, oh, I'm going to go uh, get rid of the bail fork and uh, the front loader all together. And if I don't crash into the house or the truck. I like this spot for now for keeping this stuff. It's just easy to find, easy to see. Perfect. Right, well, I'm going to go leave the tractor up at the shop so they can uh, get that job done. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll just leave it here for them. They'll get it done. Right on. Well, thanks for watching today. Um, we did get some productivity done. Uh, we made some money. We had a bit of income, which is always a bonus. Um, got the grass mowed, picked up, hay straw, hay straw done, water done, sold some milk. Uh, not a bad, not a bad day. So, um, also completed that uh, the wheat field job on number one this morning too. So, like I said, uh, if we get another one of those contracts, harvest ones, I'd be really tempted um, to grab a bale or a grab. Um, or, or lease a uh, pickup wagon and pick up the straw that we left behind. Uh, that just seems like we're leaving um, potential income for those contracts behind. So, but we'll look into that uh, the next time. It looks like I got uh, equipment here that'll need to be washed. Uh, also, uh, kind of got all put away in the rush, got a bit dirty, but that's uh, we'll get to that. So, I like to find a place or something that I can do with the slurry. Um, either to sell it or if, uh, eventually hopefully we can get a field that we can use to harvest. Um, I'm not sure if uh, using the slurry to fertilize our grass fields would be of value, but that's definitely something that if it is, that would be a good place to use it. Uh, we are getting a buildup of that also, uh, 26,000 liters of that. Manure, I know we do have a sell point for manure. Um, I believe it's, it's crap to sell, but uh, literally... 86 pounds per 100 liters so need a lot of that to make it really worthwhile to start hauling it so and, and we don't have a trailer to haul it right now on any either so um but i'm hoping once with the bga that could potentially be another option to sell i'm not 100 sure but silage it will for sure be so but all right i'm going off for supper and time with the family so have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow